So we have a fun one today where the question asks, how do you treat a two-field breast? Where does a third field come in and why? When would you use a four-field technique? And how do you treat the IMCs? So this is very much more of a dissymmetry question. However, we need to know everything within the clinic. You need to know how to do this. So for a two-field breast, one thing to note is one to two cm of lung is okay. Now you want you do want to avoid when you're making your tangents, which is how you're going to treat this. Those are the two fields. You have a interior field, a superior not outside field, a AP and an IP, and that is going to help you eliminate dose in the lung. You don't want a lot of dose in that lung. However, one to two cm is okay you want to rotate the collimator and that is to ensure that you match your chest wall and the medial border to the midline. Again, that's gonna assist you in getting flash, in treating the breast, in eliminating lung dose. And that normally treats as many level one node systems that are infected. So obviously a tangent breast, a two field breast technique is for those who maybe have level one node involvement and that's all you need to irradiate. We are looking for two CM of flash. That's to take account for fluence effects. And then we have a prescription of 266 centigrade by 16 fractions typically. So now we got the three field technique, but where does the third field come in? So the third field technique is when you need to treat supraclavicular nodes. We call them SCV. And this beam comes in. It's normally angled 10 to 15 degrees, and that's to keep it off the cord. We obviously don't want to directly irradiate the cord. This beam is coming in anteriorly, so it would have to go through the body to get to the spinal cord, but we want to keep off the cord as much as possible. So angle that 10 to 15 degrees. The depth that we want to treat is really 3 cm. We don't need to go much farther, if any farther than that. Most techniques, a lot of them, it depends. They use a half beam block to match the tangents. And then the tangent fields, so I need to write that down, HB block, half beam block is what that stands for. And then for our tangent fields, because remember, we have three fields now. We've got the two tangents, now we have a SCV beam. So the tangent fields have a collimator at zero now, and we use the MLCs for these type of plans to follow that chest wall curve. So where we have a tangent, you kick that collimator and you rotate it to match the, the actual field size match the chest wall. Now we aren't doing that. We're using a collimator of zero. You're using the MLCs to block the beam to match the chest wall curvature. You can also, if you wanted, add a couch kick. And that's going to help match the superior field edge with the match line between the tangents and the supraclavicular field. Now we're going all the way to our four field, 4F. So it's the same thing that we've already done, but now we are adding a PAB. So this is our post auxiliary boost. So this is just one posterior beam. It is the prescription is at midline and we are going to do a hundred and cent, uh, wow, sorry, 180 centigrade for three fractions, typically with that regime. So you're gonna treat your other fields, right? You're gonna do your three field plan, and then PAB is gonna be a completely separate plan that only has three fractions. And then you're gonna treat those and the patient will be finished. So then finally, how do we treat these IMCs? So you'd want to use a three CM depth is what you really wanna focus on. You can use typically electron beams are fine because we want only 3CM depth. We don't want it to go any farther than that. And our goal with our electron is that we're gonna get our 90% of our isodose line at 4CM. 
So that 9% will go past. I mean, obviously, electrons aren't going to stop immediately, but that 9% will go to the 4 cm. That means at 3 cm, that depth is going to get enough dose. That's going to be what we're focusing on. And the field size is 5 cm from the midline. So that is an overview of how we treat breast plans within the clinic, the different regimes, the techniques, why we use them. Know this, they certainly could ask it. We look at these plans, we need to know how they're done so we can obviously review the plan and direct the symmetry as needed. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching.